Hi there, Ian again. This is the um, long-term review of my uh, Decathlon B-Twin well, AF720. I think that's what it's called. Uh, long name and uh, never gets any easier to remember. I've had the bike for a year now and done two and a half thousand miles on it. Um, I've crashed it. I've dropped it a couple of times. I've done 10 mile time trials on it, 25 mile time trial on it. Accidentally rode 95 miles on it last weekend um, and it's basically been a great bike uh, it's got great reviews in the magazines uh, it's fast um, like I say it's tough I ride to work on it I lock in the bike shed at work um, it's just never missed a beat it's been it's been a great bike so let's have a look at it here's a reminder of the bike in the standard setup with the cosmic elites I still think it looks good good looking bike So what do I think about this this bike as a now I've had it for a year. Um it's still on sale so you can still buy it. Um it's been really, really good and it's been really good to go from uh, a fifteen year old bike essentially that I was trying to keep going to a to a brand new bike. Il Choker has been really good, um it's been really slick shifting. Uh I have kind of missed Campagnolo a little bit but stable it's uh, comfortable and it's and it's fast and um, it's a great price one thing I did say about this bike was that once you got it there was no real reason to upgrade but we're cyclists and um, we always find the reason to upgrade something don't we so let's see what I've done to it since I've had it here we are then with uh, the alternative alternative set up to stock with um, got a power tap wheel in the back for measuring power, waiting for a limit uh, power meter to appear whenever that comes, but the power has been, been great, part of the fact that the, the bearings have now gone after two and a half thousand miles, which uh, don't normally have bearings going wheels, but, but there you go, it's a, I think a, a bit of a fault with them. This is, um, here's my uh, B-Twin 99p bottle cages, 26 grams, which is great, we'll take her uh, Works fantastically, but it does mark up a little bit. Is the only is the only downside. As does, I found the paint job on this is uh, easily marked. The black seems to especially be be able to be marked quite easily. Um, that's the only real negative, along with the fact that the weight's listed at eight point two. But you'll be lucky to get it to eight point two, so I don't think you'll make lots of savings easily. So here's. Here's the first changes, the Rido R2 saddle that I get on really well with and the downward extreme, downward tilt, but needs must. And the Thompson Masterpiece stem. Got carbon spacers on the front, I haven't cut the steerer tube yet, but there's a an unofficial carbon top cap to replace the giant alloy top cap they give you for some reason. Um, I've changed the bars because I had these Hilux carbon bars that I got off eBay, they're 180 grams, 200 grams saving over the stock aluminium bars, and it, they're a lot narrower these bars as well. And I do feel really nice when you when you're riding on it. That's that's my reach. As you can see, I, maybe that's um, I know I can never decide if it's too long or it's too short. If I need a bigger stem or a shorter top tube, but one's easier than the other. Planet X 60 mil carbon. With, well, it's a carbon fairing and an alloy rim, so I've got one of those for on a whim from Planet X and peeled off the decals, which has now got some straw stuck to it after a time trial. So one other thing with this bike, though, is the all these um, adjusters at the front here seem a bit unnecessary to me. This brake, this alloy brake um, cable adjustment, and the gear gear cable adjustments. I don't see why we need them. So when I change the cables, I'll, I'll take those out. They'll take it slightly marked from my crash, but. Um, that's life and this tape now you can see how washed out it is and I changed the bars and, and reapplied so you can see an extra striped effect which is good but overall in summation it's been a great bike and I'll continue to hammer it as best I can that's it